Hi, this is uh, CAT 2005 uh, Venkat, the stockbroker question. So, in this question, uh, he invested in uh, four different companies A, B, C, D, and he is expecting uh, returns of 20%, 10%, 30%, and 40% from these companies. So, these companies belong to different industries cement, information technology, IT, auto, and steel, not necessarily in the same order. And it is given that Two of these companies announced extraordinary good results. So his expected return is uh, uh, 20%, 10%, it's already given. But if a company which announced extraordinary good results, uh, one company announced double the returns that what he has already expected. And one company announced uh, one and a half times uh, better results than what he has expected. And remaining two companies uh, announced the results uh, as usual, uh, what he has expected. So one of the company, which ex which has announced uh, extraordinary good result uh, that belong to cement or IT industry and another company which belong to steel and auto industry. So this is a huge data. This is a castlet kind of question. So let us write this uh, entire data into uh, numbers so that you can understand this. So there are four companies A, B, C, D and his expected returns are uh, 20%, 10%, and uh, 30% and 40 percent so this is these are all the expected returns from these four companies uh, now let us look at the first question so what is the minimum average return uh, anyway we will write the data so whatever the other data has been given in the question so it is given that uh, the company which belongs to uh, cement or IT industry cement or IT industry uh, IT industry is uh, given two times better result than what he has expected. So this is the first data and the other uh, company which belong to auto or steel announced 1.5 times better result than what he has expected. So this is also given in the question. Okay, fine. Now let us look at the uh, first question. So what is the minimum average return Venkat would have earned during the year? So we have to find the minimum average return. So uh, we have to consider these two facts also because one company announced two times you know, better return. It has given two times better return. It is also given in the question that each share was priced at 100 rupees. Anyway, we can directly uh, do these calculations by using the percentages by using the weighted average formula, right? So please refer to the concept of averages and weighted average formula so that you can understand how to calculate the returns by using these uh, percentages directly. Now, so when he will get the minimum return? For example, let us say D announced two times better result, right? So instead of 40, it gives him 80% result, then his return will be very, very high, correct? So when he will get the minimum result uh, or minimum return? So in that case where B gives two times better result because 10 double is only 20. So he'll get the minimum return over there. So assuming that B announced extraordinary good result, almost double the return he is getting. Therefore, uh, B gives him 20% return. So another company is giving him 1.5 times return. So let us take the next least value. So this is so 1.5 times means 30%. So the remaining two companies are as usual. So 30 and 40. So let us calculate the sum of all the values 50, uh, 50 plus uh, 30, 80, 80, 120. So 120 divided by 4 will give you 30 percent. So the minimum he will get is 30 percent return. So we'll go for answer option 1 for this question. So let us look at the next question. Venkat earned 35 percent return on an average during the year, then which of the following statements would necessarily be true? So let us consider <coughs> in what circumstances he will get 35% return. Let us assume that <coughs> without any of these changes, how much minimum return he will get? Suppose there is no extraordinary good result. Okay. In that case, how much return he will get? So 40 plus 30, 70, uh, 80, 100. 100 divided by 4 will give you 25%. <coughs> so without extraordinary good results, the minimum he will get is 25, right? Now we have to get 35% return. 35% return means each and every share uh, should give him 10% extra. That means 40% extra we need to get. So this is a very, very important point. So if he gets 40% extra return, 
uh, by using this extraordinary good results probably he may achieve 35 percent right so uh, let us make up this 40 percent so how do we get 40 percent uh, by using uh, these extraordinary good results for example let us say uh, yeah let us say a gives extraordinary good result right two times then how much return he will get how much extra he will get 20 extra he will get share d gets 1.5 time better result so that means 1.5 better result means half of right so 60 percent return so another 20 percent is getting extra now if you see uh, 20 plus 20 will give you 40 right this is one way of achieving a uh, 35 percent return right so let us have a look at another way probably in any other way we can achieve extraordinary good result suppose if company c is giving extraordinary good result uh, so let us erase these numbers so that we can write here also okay if company c is giving extraordinary good result that means two times better result that means the extra he will get is 30 here extra he will get is 30 and if a company is giving 1.5 time better return means half the return extra that means another return he will get extra here now you see in this case also he is getting 40 percent return so there are two possibilities exist in this case now let us look at the options one by one uh, option one company a belong to either auto or steel industry that cannot be uh, determined right because in one case it is giving two times better return in one case it is giving only one time uh, 1.5 times better return so we cannot say whether that share belong to auto or steel or cement or it industry so option one is wrong let us look at the option number two company b did not announce extraordinary good result so that is true company b did not announce extraordinary good result that is very much true so option two is correct and option three company a announced extraordinary good result that is also true company a announced extraordinary good result because the company belongs to uh, in one case it is giving two times better return in another case it is giving 1.5 times better return so in either cases it is uh, giving extraordinary good result therefore uh, option three is also correct option four company d didn't announce extraordinary good result this is wrong company d in one case it is announcing extraordinary good result therefore option four is wrong option two and three both are correct therefore we'll go for option two uh, next question if venkat earned 38.75 return on an average during the year then which of these statements would necessarily be true so 38.75 now you see uh, the the minimum return without extraordinary result is 25 so let us calculate uh, 38.75 minus 25 is equal to how much 13.75 multiplied by 4 right on an average this is the average so total how much extra he has to earn so 4 5s are 20 0 to 4 8s are 7s are 28 28 plus 2 30 3 carry 4 3s are 12 12 plus 3 15 5 1 4 1s are 4 5 so if he gets 55 percent extra return by using these two logics then he may achieve the target right so let us erase these numbers once again right so 55 percent return how do we achieve uh, suppose let us say if company d announced extraordinary good result that means that belongs to either cement or it he will get 40 so we need to get another 15 so 15 means 30 half is 15 therefore the company belongs to c announced extraordinary good result he may achieve another 15 right this is one way of achieving so let us look at any other way we can get this uh, to get 55 so 55 means uh, yeah if this is 30 we have to get 25 but 25 is not possible here right suppose if this is two times 25 is not possible so because these are all smaller numbers we may not achieve 55 there is only one way we can achieve this extra 55 percent by using c and d are announcing extraordinary good result and that to d belongs to cement or it which is giving double the return and c uh, and uh, c belongs to yeah no no d belongs to cement or it which is giving double the return and c belongs to auto and steel which is giving 1.5 times return uh, now uh, let us look at the options one by one company c belong to either auto or steel company c belong to auto or steel auto or steel 1.5 times so it is exactly matching therefore option one is correct 
Option 2. Company D belong to either auto or steel. That is wrong. Definitely because company D belong to IT or cement. Right. Two times better return. Company A announced extraordinary good results. So in this case company A hasn't announced extraordinary good results. That's also ruled out. Option 4. Company B did not announce extraordinary good results. That is also true. Company B did not announce extraordinary good results. So therefore 1 and 4 are correct. So we'll go for answer option 3 for this question. So let us look at the question number 4. If company C belong to cement or IT industry and did announce extraordinary good result. That means company C belong to cement or IT industries and announce extraordinary good result. That means it already announced a 30% extra, right? So double the return means you will get 30% extra directly. So plus 30. And if you look at the options, Venkat earned not more than 36.25% return on average and another number is 33.75, right? So, in that case, we will take the options, we will take the options. So, 33.75 subtract, we have to subtract 25 from it. Therefore, we will get uh, 8.75 multiplied by 4. So, I am calculating how much extra has to earn. So, 75, 4 times means 300, that means 3. 4 into 8, uh, 32, 32 plus 3, 35. So, in this case, he has to get 35 extra right this is one calculation so okay fine and in one option it is giving that 36.25 percent return on an average right so venka tended not more than that means we need to maximize if you maximize he earns more than 36.25 that option will be ruled out right so in what case we will get more than 36.25 so in what case we will get the maximum return because the highest return is giving by d if D is announcing like extraordinary good result that belongs to auto and steel, it is giving 1.5 times better return. That means he will get 20% extra here. That means overall 50%, correct? So overall 50% means 50 divided by 4 will give you 12.5. So 12.5 plus 25 will give you 37.5, which is more than 36.25. So that option will be ruled out. So, so option 1 is not correct. So with respect to the remaining 3 options, this calculation is very much useful. Now, if he has to get 33.75 return on an average, he has to get 35% extra. We have already seen that C belonging to auto, uh, C belonging to which IT or cement. So it's already announced extraordinary good result of 2 times. So that's why he got already 30% extra. Now we have to get only 5% extra. So 5% extra 1.5 times. So this option, right? So 10% half is 5%. So he will get 5% extra here. Therefore, he will get exactly 35%. That means company B belonging to auto and steel announced extraordinary good results. So let us look at the options one by one. So Venkat earned not less than 33.75% return on average. That is true also because if he if company B announced extraordinary good result and uh, because this is the least, he will get the minimum return. If this is the case, suppose if A belongs to auto and steel and announce extraordinary good result, this will become 10. So his, his return will be greater than 33.75. So in this case, he will get the minimum return. So option 2 is correct. Option 3. If Venkat earned 33.75% return on average, Company A announced extraordinary good results. That is wrong. Company A hasn't announced extraordinary good result. In that case, he will get... Uh, another 10, 10 divided by 4, another 2.5 extra. So that is not the case. So company A hasn't announced extraordinary good result. So option 3 is wrong. Option 4. If Venka tenured 33.75% return on an average, company B belong to either auto or steel industry. So company B belong to auto or steel industry. That is true. So option 4 is also correct. Therefore, 2 and 4 options are correct. So we'll go for choice number 2 for this question.